hey, welcome back guys. And today we're gonna talk about Hoochie's pop-up shop and what items are actually worth buying from his store. Now, there's gonna be some items that are worth purchasing and some that you're going to want to avoid. So we're going to talk about that and keep in mind there's also going to be some items that some people might wanna buy and some people might not want to. It really depends on your Skystone situation and also how far along your account is. Now, this shop will be running until the 6th of July and there's going to be two separate types of items. We have the permanent items in the shop, which will not rotate. If we scroll down here, you'll also see these items that have a clock icon, and these will rotate every 12 hours. You can see the refresh time on the bottom left here. So starting off with the permanent items, guys, looking at the top. So the first thing we have is the four to five five-star hero summon ticket. This you definitely are going to want to avoid because you only have a 15% chance at a five-star hero and an 85% chance at a four-star hero, which might seem like not that bad of odds for some of you guys out there, but keep in mind it's a random five or four-star hero and it cannot be a Moonlight hero. It will always be RGB or fire, ice, or earth in other words. So it's not really worth it and the chances are, even if you do get that lucky 15% and get a five-star hero, most of the time that unit will not be that great. Next, we have the Molagora, guys. This will really depend on your account. So if you are new to this game and you have a lot of Molagora, I would not recommend buying this because there's a lot of free-to-play options you can build for PvE, which will not cost you that many Molagoras because they'll either be three stars or four stars. But if you're late into the game with a decent amount of Sky Stones and have like a pity saved up, and you're running low on Molagora, you're definitely gonna wanna buy these because Molagora are time-gated. Next, we have the Mystic Medals. I personally recommend always purchasing these because these are very, very worth it because on average, if you refresh the secret shop, it will cost you about 300, 400 sky stones for mystic metals. And once you hit the late game, you're mostly looking for moonlight units anyways. Uh, so mystic metals are going to be more worth it in terms of sky stones to mystic metals ratio. Just keep in mind you are missing out on the chance of getting the regular covenant bookmarks from the secret shop. So it's really up to you, but I would personally recommend these mystic metals. Next, we have the Galaxy Bookmarks, guys. This is going to be a 1,200 Skystone investment for a 2.5% chance at a ML 5-star. And let me tell you that this is not worth it. A lot of people will try to buy this and justify it, saying they got a 5-star. But let's be honest, some 5-stars, ML 5-stars exactly, are going to be pretty bad. And most of the time, you're going to get ML 4-stars. And even though ML 4-stars are very good, you'll be able to collect them all eventually if you just play the game a, a lot. So I personally don't think it's really worth it. Some of you guys out there might buy it and get really lucky and get a really good 5-star like Conquer Lilius. But trust me, for the average population and for just statistics, it is not going to be worth your Sky Stones because 1200 is very, very hefty price to pay for just 5 Galaxy Bookmarks. Now moving into the interesting uh, items here. So you have the random level 85 equipment, um, epic equipment chests. So for this set or this box, I would recommend going through it, even if you don't plan to buy, because refreshing is for free. And you're going to want to look for a right side piece. You're gonna to wanna to look for a ring or a necklace even, like here, or like boots. And you wanna make sure the sets, the main stat, and also the sub stats are very, very good. And the base stats are decent as well. So I'm gonna go through here and try to look for one. It's gonna be a pretty low chance of this actually occurring, uh, but sometimes you do get lucky here and you do wanna buy a piece. And 1100 Sky Stones for a pretty much perfect piece here is going to be very worth it. And like I said, because it is free to refresh, you're definitely going to want to refresh here and look for a good sets here with like good substats like I mentioned. Right now, we're not finding anything. And for equipment score, guys, you're going to want to look for an equipment score of at least 30 in my opinion. I think those are the best pieces to buy. Anything lower than that, and you're kind of rolling a dice here because if it rolls low, you're not going to really end up using that piece. So... Yeah, we're going through like this ring here would be decent if that flat attack stat was like something else. Uh, but we're just going to keep going here and hopefully we get a piece that is worth purchasing. I highly doubt it though because of the fact that um, the chance of this actually ha lining up for you getting a good piece is pretty low like I said. Um, but there is going to be a chance that you actually do get a good piece so you actually want to test it out. Also guys, don't buy left side pieces. Like this piece looks pretty insane for a left side piece. Equipment score of 34. But left side pieces are a lot easier to get, and for 1100 Sky Stones, not really worth it in my opinion, unless you get a super, super cracked piece, like a 36 gear score piece with like perfect subs like this one. These are actually all perfect. Like this piece might actually be worth purchasing. Honestly, I might even consider buying this right now because 36 gear score is crazy, and you know, it's max subs and everything. This is literally a perfect piece. The only thing is, if it rolls heavy into effectiveness, I'd have to use this on like a different unit, but um, 
you know, pretty, pretty good. If this effectiveness was like crit damage or defense or speed at max roll, this would be super, super good. I think for left side pieces, anything above 35 gear score, right side pieces 30, make sure the set and the subs and the main stat line up and you're good to go. Otherwise, you can just, you know, just keep refreshing to the end and just not decide to purchase anything. Like this necklace would be so good if that flat defense was like crit chance or something or like attack percent, but unfortunately it is not. Next, we have the Reforging Material Selection Chest. I think 600 Sky Stones for this is super cheap, especially because if you just buy the Expedition Pass, you get way more value. This Expedition Pass will give you um, so much more value here. It's going to be pretty much 1500 Sky Stones, and you get 300 Manifestation Stones. You get three of these Equipment Conversion uh, Gem Selection Chests, which are going to be worth you know a lot of Sky Stones, like 200, 300 each. Honestly, you get three more Molagora. And you get you know three of these gold transmit stones and you get 600 reforging mats if we compare it to the hoochie's shop it's not really worth you know spending it in the hoochie shop for that reforge chest so yeah if we look back here 600 sky stones is going to only give you either 100 manifestation stones or 200 of reforge map but if you're paying 1500 per month you actually get 600 and then you get 300 manifestation stones and a lot more so this is a big scam do not buy this this is only really for whales uh, so I would definitely recommend going against this, even if you're missing a lot of reforged mats, this is a big scam. Created artifact charms, honestly this is really up to you. If you have a lot of sky stones left over, it's pretty decent because artifact charms are kind of hard to get in this game. A little bit easier now, but artifact charms are always a struggle to get, so this might be a good deal. Honestly, I would not recommend this for early game players. But if you're in the late game and you are in PvP and and you are you know struggling to max out your artifacts that you have limit break, then this might be a good option for you. Next, Hoochie's Lucky Chest, guys. This is pretty decent. The rate on this is pretty good as well. You're actually going to get pretty good value on this. Um, this is going to give you, I'd say like 99.5% of the time, you're going to get all of your Sky Stones back or more in value if you just buy all five of these. So I recommend buying this for sure, and they're very, very cheap. You can even get lucky and get a five-star unit, but a lot of the times you'll get like Leafs, you'll get like Catalyst, you'll get a lot of things that are really worth it for the Sky Stones. Now for the time limited one guys, like the only things worth buying are the Mystic Metals and also the Leafs. Everything else is kind of a scam. Um, I guess also the, the Conversion Gem Boxes are good as well. So Conversion Gem Boxes, Leafs, and the Mystic Metals are going to be the best bet. Everything else you're going to want to skip on. You guys are allowed to disagree with me, but trust me guys, I've done Hoochie's pop-up shop and participated in this event more than 15 times. And let me just say, the items that are very bad, that I've said are very bad and not worth it, I've tried purchasing and gambling as well especially the galaxy bookmarks and let me just say it is a big scam you're not gonna really get any value and even if you do get lucky just statistically it's just you being lucky it's not really worth it for everyone and i cannot recommend that because you know relying on luck is something you do not want to do in this game even if it is just 15 percent so yeah just my opinion guys thanks for watching guys and i hope this video helped you guys out in deciding what to purchase from the shop and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.